The mission of the Stanford Hypertension Center is to really integrate care for patients with elevated blood pressure. And so one of the ways that we do that is to bring in referrals for patients with elevated blood pressure and review their cases before they are seen so that we can appropriately triage those patients as to who's the best specialist to see them. I think if I was a patient myself with high blood pressure, either of adrenal origin or not, secondary hypertension, I think it's really important to have multiple providers evaluate your case or perhaps see you in the same clinic, a multidisciplinary clinic. There's been many studies in different disease groups where multidisciplinary care usually ends up resulting in better outcomes for patients and benefiting them. So for me, it's essential to have nephrology, endocrinology evaluate the same patient. If I'm gonna offer a patient an operation, number one, to confirm if the diagnosis is correct or if it's inherited or if surgical intervention is the best intervention. As part of the Hypertension Center and from uh, our experiences with Sprint, I was able to work with my colleagues in the center to develop a protocol that standardizes the way that we measure blood pressure. And so um, that experience has been going on for a couple of years. We were able to bring in a medical student who was interested in this topic as well, and he compared our blood pressure when we measured it with the protocol and without the protocol. We saw that, not surprisingly, there's a very large difference. A majority of patients uh, might have been wrongly classified as having poorly controlled blood pressure when it actually was if we just weren't measuring it correctly. We are unique in a way that um, it's the only center in Northern California that is um, a registered or certified hypertension center. Um, there is no other institution in locally that exists that can provide the same care. And here at Sanford we specialize uh, we have a dedicated section for MRI imaging in the body, in the abdomen and pelvis, um, and we have access to um, the latest imaging techniques. Um, and so we looked at creating a special protocol for them to evaluate the adrenal glands, looking specifically for these adenomas. I think this collaboration has been in line with the strategic mission to be value-focused, digitally driven, and uniquely Stanford. Case Conference uh, really allows uh, us, um, as we're all very busy, uh, to really in a focused amount of time talk about the cases that are the most challenging. And again, I think that um, hearing the perspective of colleagues of mine uh, here uh, uh, that read through a different set of literature, um, I think really teaches me personally a lot. It teaches our fellows quite a bit about it. And I think it makes us better surgeons and interventionalists because we're thinking about, okay, is it really worth doing this procedure if there's something medical that's non-invasive that we can do? Ultimately, what we want to do is uh, model this based on what's referred to as the tumor board where all new cancer patients are discussed at a multidisciplinary conference. And we want to ultimately have enough conferences per month where all new patients seen by us in the clinic can be discussed and a notation placed in the chart that the patient was discussed at conference and this was the group consensus on what's going on and how best to treat this patient. We want to make it into uh, uh, that type of model of care delivery. So are there any cases where you're surveilling a patient um, and they're not going for surgery maybe indefinitely if you're blocking them? in the absence of significant hypertension? I don't. Okay. I prescribe it. I, I, I refer the patient to someone who gives more sort of systemic treatment. I became involved because I used to treat patients in the hospital primarily, and I would see them towards the end of their disease or when they were very, very sick and it prompted me to go prevention. So for me, a lot of what I do and the reason I do it is because I just really, there, there's so much that can be prevented and I really want to help people um, work towards that goal. So for many people, that is their goal, is to actually re live really healthily. And so uh, that's really why I work in the Preventive Cardiology Clinic and the Women's Heart Health Clinic, is to help patients prevent diseases that can be prevented. One of the aspects of the center that we take great pride in 
is being able to um, pass on um, knowledge about hypertension to trainees and also provide a vehicle for their training. An example of that is in our, in our clinic in nephrology and also in other clinics that see patients with resistant hypertension. We have trainees that um, learn from the patients and learn from the, our faculty. Uh, we also have had trainees participate in research related to hypertension. We've had undergraduates, we've had medical students, we've had internal medicine residents, and we've had fellows all doing funded research in hypertension. And so in that way, we feel we are able to cover the gamut of research, clinical care, and teaching as part of our center.